Welcome to the module 5, Advances in Systems, uh, part of the Calibri project. This part is about the social technical system and usability. And it consists of four papers. One about the socio technical systems in general, coming from Wikipedia. One about the socio technical principles for system design, which goes quite into details about how system design should be done in this context. We have a more general paper on usability and we have more specific paper again uh, about what does usability mean looking beyond the ease of use issues. If we go first for the social technical system from the Wikipedia, this paper describes the approach to complex organizational work design that views the interaction between people and technology. And it discusses principles on autonomy issues, adaptability, and whole task in their meaningfulness. The social technical system theory issues are presented as they are important to fit the emerging technologies into various organizational structures. The second part is applied from the Applied Economics Journal is about social technical principles for system design. And this paper offers a set of social technical principles to guide system design. It describes 19 principles divided into three groups. The first group is about meta principles, which is 1 to 7. Second is content principles from 8 to 13. And the last is process principles of 14 to 19. Under principle 12, there is a list of 15 criteria to guide the design and selection of information systems. But this also involves the usability. And we have the third articles from the Wikipedia about usability in general. It's about ease of use and learnability of gadgets and systems that the human interacts with. It incorporates standards. It's about design of usability, evaluation methods, and the benefits of the usability. And then we go more into details. The quick VQ usability has defined what does usability mean looking beyond the ease of use. This paper expands and explains the Wikipedia paper, looking into the meaning of usability, how and why people use a product, the evolution of uh, how usability can be improved. We have the multifaceted characteristic called the five E's, user-centered design, and it's a bit of a working with the five E's and goals and evaluation. So to see more about this, please read, read the papers to be prepared for because next is the quiz and you need to, know, to look into the papers in order, order to be able to answer the quizzes. Thank you.